Wombats belong to the Vombatidae family, and there are three living species all found in Australia's forests and grasslands. The common wombat, who is also called the coarse-haired wombat or the naked-nosed wombat, is native to the southeastern coastal areas of Australia. The southern hairy-nosed wombat is native to the central southern coastal areas of Australia. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is found wildly only in the Epping Forest National Park and the Richard Underwood Nature Reserve because they are critically endangered, with less than 300 individuals living in the wild. Wombats are marsupials, just like the possums we discussed a few episodes back, and they're most closely related to koalas. As far as marsupials go, they're unique. Wombats have the largest brains of all marsupials, and they have rear-facing pouches. Where kangaroos have pouch openings that point towards their head, the wombats points towards their hiney. A likely reason for this anatomical difference is related to how they live. Wombats are burrowers and spend most of their days sleeping underground in large, well-constructed burrows, called warrens. Because they dig these burrows out themselves, females have to make sure their pouch doesn't get filled with dirt. So, rear-facing pouches are a must. Their burrows, of which there may be multiple in a wombat territory, are made up of many tunnels and sleeping nests in which wombats will spend a vast majority of their time. Of course, don't put it past them to soak up some sun if they have the opportunity. The temperature inside a wombat burrow is usually fairly consistent and humid. The moist air in their homes, as well as their diet, make it so that wombats hardly ever have to drink water. Wombats prefer to eat at night and thus are largely nocturnal. They're herbivores who enjoy grasses and leaves, but if green food is scarce, they've also been observed eating roots, tubers, and even tree bark. Rainy weather tends to be the deciding factor on whether green food will be available for munching, and in fact, it's largely rain and lack thereof that can hurt wombat populations. While it's true that wombats, especially the endangered northern hairy-nosed wombats, are predated by dingoes and feral dogs, droughts can create a larger impact on wombat populations because a lack of green vegetation means not enough food for baby wombats. If there isn't enough rain to produce enough green vegetation, wombat breeding populations will decline. When they do have babies, they typically only have one. Since wombats are relatively solitary creatures, the males don't take part in raising the young. The baby will remain in the mother's womb for just under a month, and then emerge and crawl into her pouch where it will stay for nearly five months, at which point it will begin to leave the pouch until it can no longer fit at around nine months of age. The young wombat will stay with its mother for a year or longer, and will be ready to start its own wombat family by two or three years of age, depending on the species, and the rain of course. In the wild, wombats live an average of about a decade, but in captivity they can live more than twice that. Wombats are brown, gray, or sometimes even cream-colored, and, of course, the hairy-nosed wombat species have thickly whiskered snouts. I'm sure Chester's probably pretty jealous. Their tails are nearly non-existent, and their bodies are stout. Wombats are the second largest living marsupials, falling behind kangaroos. They average about 40 inches in length and 65 pounds in weight. Of course, if you think that's big, you should have seen their rhino-sized prehistoric relatives. Giant wombats are considered to have been the largest ever living marsupials. At a whopping 6 feet tall, 12 feet long, and 3 tons in weight, they could have easily carried at least 10 modern wombats on their backs without even breaking a sweat. Well, if wombats sweat anyway. Some more facts to know about wombats are that their teeth never stop growing, so it can actually be pretty difficult to get accurate age references on these elusive creatures. Plus, speaking of being elusive, some of our research stated that many native Australians have never even seen a wild wombat. If you're from Australia, then let us know in the comments if you've seen a wombat in the wild. And we'll end with this, since it seems appropriate. Wombats have thick-skinned behinds, which they will present to any would-be predators from the safety of their burrow, with only their rear end available for biting. It's as if they're saying, yeah, good luck with this. For more facts on wombats, please check out the links in the description. There's a lot we couldn't fit into this episode, so don't be afraid to do some digging, just like a wombat. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.